Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I got the Bass Raider back out. It's time for part two. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more maintenance on it, working on the battery, a tray, and a few other small items on the agenda. Get this thing ready to do some cap fishing later this year. Well, first things first, before I start working on this thing, I wanna go ahead, get the power washer out, clean it up from using it this season. And then we start the maintenance process. First thing I'm going to do is turn this trolling motor from a bow mount to a stern mount. During hunting season, it's great to have the bow mount. It gives me a lot more control around those trees. But when it comes to fishing, I don't want to be turning around in my seat, continuously grabbing gear. So I want to have everything in front of me and fish from the rear. That also put all the weight on the back, which ought to help with trailering. So fortunately with these spin coders, it's very easy. You simply have a Phillips head screw that's held on with a nylon nut. You unscrew that single screw, you flip the head around, and then you have a stern mount trolling motor and get be reversed very quickly when I go back to hunting. So right there at the screw, I don't have quite the right bit on a longer screwdriver, so I'm going to have to deal with this sh short one. That's good to go. Well, as of now, the way I have the bilge pump set up is simply two wires with terminals on them and I can touch them to the battery and that's how I turned them on. I finally got a inline switch in, so I'm going to add that, just simply splice it onto uh, the positive wire. But in this case, since it really doesn't matter, I can splice it to either or, then I can connect it to the battery. And that way I'll have a switch for my bilge pump. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. Just cut off this loose wire and then I'll get a connection between those two. Alright, there's one side done, and these aren't shrink connectors, unfortunately, so if something goes wrong, I'll just have to add one of those in the future. Um, not terribly concerned about that for this particular project. Well, I just got this wired up. I do not have a heat shrink connector to make it more watertight. So I'm gonna have to run with this for the time being. But I just wanna make sure that it's running real quick. I got the negative to the battery. Now I'm just gonna push this positive on. Button's off right now. It's not running. Hopefully when I turn it on though, perfect. Running exactly as intended. So now I got a little push button. I'm gonna set that on the inside of the gunnel. Put a ring on this for the battery now i have a permanent setup for the bilge pump off camera i simply put some double-sided sticky tape and i went ahead and put the button on that so that is going to be a relatively firm placement and now if i ever need to access it simply on and off and it's hidden away now i need to put a battery tray in so this will stay from moving all up and around the boat when hitting bumps well i just put this battery tray in i'm simply going to add four screws to each side and there's enough plastic between the two that it should keep them in place. And if not, I'll just have to come through and do a little bit more. Also, with this plastic being as thin as it is, I'm not too concerned about adding sealant. So I'm just going to go ahead and drill into it.
one final one. That's about all the work I'm going to put into the boat itself. With it being a 2005 and just being a little camp boat, all I want to do is a little bit of this additional wiring, have it set up for catfishing this summer, and just make sure everything was robust and well suited for my liking. I will make sure to link all the parts and accessories I use in the description below if you have any questions or want to look into them for your application. Regardless, if you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing this boat used for some fishing in the future, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe for more. And as always, thanks for watching.